De-dollarization. 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 What did you just say? The dollarization has become the buzzword of the year. In simple terms, it means relying less on the US dollar for things like saving money, making payments, and measuring values. This shift has been happening around the world for a while now, but it sped up when Russia began its military actions in Ukraine and Western countries hit Russia with stronger penalties. Big channels and internet personalities are talking non-stop about how this might bother the United States. But have you ever wondered if what's bad for Uncle Sam is also bad for the average gym? Hello everybody, welcome to the market economy. My name is Anastasia and I'm here to explore with you the complexities of macroeconomics, geopolitics, technology and society with a special focus on BRICS countries and other growing markets. We have got a curious story for you. Why are some Americans actually happy to see BRICS countries grow even if it could hurt their own wallets. Is it just all thinking or is there more to it? You might be asking yourself why would anyone in the US want the powerful dollar to lose its place as top global currency? Well my friends, what's best for the US government might not always be best for the average person. Stick around as we uncover the answers to these thrilling questions right here on Market Economy Show. Well, that sounds interesting. In our day-to-day -day lives, all we are familiar with the US dollar supremacy. It has been the dominant global currency for decades and we have grown accustomed to it. But what if I told you there is more to the story that meets the eye? You see, the US dollar's reign has its own set of complications. And today, we are going to explore them from the fresh perspective. That brings a fresh perspective to Washington? Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. The US dollar status as a world reserve currency isn't all sunshine and rainbow. In fact, it has been causing some serious issues that hit close to home for many American people. American industries are losing their competitive edge. The cost of living is skyrocketing and running a business in the US is becoming more expensive by the day. It is high time we address these issues and to do that we need to look at the bigger picture. The bigger picture. Enter the BRICS, a group of five emerging economies that includes Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, a group that is going to become bigger soon. These countries are working together to build a new global economic order based on tangible infrastructure and manufacturing, challenging the US dollar's dominance. As we venture into this unfamiliar territory, we must ask ourselves if we are ready to face a world where the US dollar isn't the only game in town. That is a very good question. To better understand the BRICS strategy, we take a closer look at China's Belt and Road Initiative, a massive plan to build infrastructure along the ancient Silk Road, connecting Asia, Europe and Africa. This ambitious project aims to boost trade among countries along the route, creating a thriving economic network that stretches far beyond the reach of the US dollar. The West, on the other hand, has been struggling to compete with China and BRICS countries in the realm of infrastructure development. The reasons are many, including the fallout from years of backing US wars and 2008 financial crisis. The West simply doesn't have the capital, capacity or expertise to invest in the developing world's infrastructure on the same scale as China. There is a solution. There always is. This exploration reveals that the US could potentially benefit from these changes if it is willing to adapt and rethink its role in the global economy. As we delve deeper into the BRICS and their plans, we realize that this new global order could actually be good for the US. By embracing a more collaborative approach, a vast market could be created that benefits US companies at the average American. This more equitable world would see the US dollar alongside other currencies in the global market. 
this will be a hard time. However, to truly benefit from this new world order, the US must be willing to pay a price. The US must let go of its aggressive empire-building mindset and be open to working together with these emerging countries. This means giving up some of its dominance and control over the global financial system and revaluating its priorities as a nation. The US must shift its focus from military production and Wall Street finance to building a real economy based on infrastructure and manufacturing for the benefit of all its citizens. We need to take a step back for a second. The United States steps back and embraces this new global order it will begin to reap the benefits. By working together with the BRICS and other countries, Americans will help create a more stable and prosperous world. The United States must begin to focus on rebuilding infrastructure, investing in education, and developing sustainable industries that provide good jobs for Americans. The United States is no longer solely dependent on dollar dominance, and this works in its favor. Must do this together. The United States may come out stronger and more resilient, having learned a valuable lesson about cooperation and adaptation. There is an understanding that the world does not revolve around the US dollar, and that is a good thing. By embracing change and cooperating with other nations, we build a more inclusive, diverse and prosperous global economy that benefits everyone, including the United States. The world can be changed, but together we can achieve higher goals. Now the BRICS countries are getting ready to start their own shared money. They have been talking about this for some time and it's gonna speed up in August during a big meeting in South Africa. We have put together a great video on this and you should definitely check it out. The link is right down below in the description. Woo! What are we waiting for? We are curious about your thoughts on this big news, so go ahead and share your comments with us. Let's chat about these huge changes that affect the whole world. You see, being open to change and working together can make things better for everyone, even Americans who might be a bit worried about sharing power with other countries. Our world is always changing and by having honest conversation we can better handle these shifts as a team. Help us make more and more exciting stuff for you. Feel free to throw out ideas for topics you'd like us to cover. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your buddies and subscribe for more cool content. Until next time, stay curious and take care.